At least we got half the pads on. We got the shoulder pads on, so we're able to see, try to form and fit up on blocking and tackling, which ultimately is what it, what it boils down to. Now we're still a ways off from actually, you know, making contact and finding out who can define themselves in a contact situation. Still primarily learning and evaluation. Players and coaches are both on a learning curve, so. We've got a, we've got a uh, good bunch of football players out here, and we're just trying to mold some some oneness in them. But they're seeing appears in the early stages to be a, a really focused leadership core. You know, there's 18 seniors, which is not a lot by some standards, but it's most we've ever had. And uh, I, I can see the, I can see their effect. So that all bodes well for future success. Uh, just to mention a, uh, players that maybe are new names, uh, Rashad Byers is a really unique talent uh, from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, got a long way to go and nobody's hit him yet, but he's a, he's a rare talent. Um, you know, I, I see some people who have gotten better since the last time they were out here. Start on that list, but there's some that certainly have. Um, still, where I spend most of my time looking is the offensive line, which I think is is a real development challenge for this football team leading into the season. But there appears to be some, you know, some some to work with there, and we just uh, have to get to the next practice day and and uh, uh, look for people who have mentally accepted the challenge and come out here uh, having gotten better from the last practice and mentally focused on where they've got to be down the road. So no reason not to be very optimistic. Uh, still a lot of questions to be asked.